Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting system of equations, we have a plus b equal to 1, b plus c equal to 2 and a plus c equal to 3 and we need to solve this question for a, b and c. So if you have your answer to your solution, you can also solve this question in the comments below and then we will check our answers. So in this video, I'm going to show you four best methods, how can you solve this system of equations. So right now let's start. So I'm going to start this from here on the, on the left side. This is our first method. I'm going to show you four math methods, how can we solve this for different uh, methods, how can we solve this uh, question. So first method is called, so this is our first, uh, first method, so this method is called the substitution method. So from first equation, so let's call for example this equation at the first one, this equation at the second one and this at the third one, like for, for better, uh, like for better understanding. So first of all, from equation one, from this first equation, let's express a, a equal to one minus b. So this is our first step. So from here we have that our a, a is equal to one minus b. So this is our from first from first equation. Right now, let's plug in this a equal to 1 minus b into equation 3. So we have a plus c equal to 3, so instead of a we're going to plug in y, 1 minus b. So let's do this right now. Let's do this right now. So we have, uh, instead of a, we're going to plug in 1 minus b. So we have 1 minus b, 1 minus b, plus c, okay, right here. So I'm going to write it with parentheses. So plus c, plus c is equal to, is equal to 3. Right now from here we can simplify this, so we have we can write it as 1 minus b, so we have 1 minus b plus c, and of course equal to equal to 3. From here, how can we express, how can we find, how can we find something? Of course, we can easily uh, subtract 1 from both sides, as a result we have uh, we have our, our 2 on the right side, and we can write b on the right side. So from here our c is equal to 2 plus b. Okay, c is equal to 2 plus b. I really hope you understand it. So after substituting a in the third equation, we have that c is equal to uh, c is equal to 2 plus b. And our th this is our first step. This is our second step. And right now the last step. In the third step, we're going to substitute this c equal to 2 plus b. Let's substitute this expression into equation 2. So we have b plus c equal to 2. So let's do this. So we have b plus, instead of c, we're going to plug in this 2 plus b, okay, plus 2 plus b, and of course equal to, equal to 2, okay, equal to 2. From here, how can we solve it? b plus 2 plus b, we have 2b plus 2 equal to 2, so we have 2b plus 2 equal to 2, equal to 2, and from here our 2b is equal to 0, so 2b is equal to 0, and our b, from here, our b is equal to, is equal to 0, yeah, so our b is equal to is equal to zero. Right now we know our b, so how, how can we find our our a real quick? Of course we can easily plug in this b right here, yeah, so we have b, if b equal to zero, so we have one minus zero, so a is equal to, uh, so a is equal to one, so our fourth step, let's underline it as a fourth step, like from first, from this equation, from equation um, first, we have a equal to, a equal to one minus b, b equal to 0, so we have 1 minus 0, so a is equal to, I'm going to underline it right here, so a is equal to 1, let's underline it right here, and of course we can easily find uh, find our c, for example, from, from the third equation, so a plus c equal to, uh, equal to uh, 3, so we can easily find our c, because c equal to 3 minus a. So uh, let's write it, so c equal to 3 minus a, and from here c is equal to uh, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, so our c is equal to 2. This is our first, this is our first uh, method, okay, this is our first method. For example, we can easily verify it real quick, like uh, let's go with the, with the second equation, b plus c equal to 2, b plus c equal to 2, b plus c equal to 2, everything, everything is great. So this is our first method, this method is called a method of uh, like substitution yeah right now i'm going to show you the second method like how can we solve this how can we solve this part so i'm gonna i'm gonna rewrite my question real quick so we have a plus b a plus b equal to one and b plus c equal to two and a plus c a plus c equal to equal to three this are this are a question right now second method let's subtract equation first of the first equation from the third one okay let's do this right now this is our second method how can we solve this equation let's subtract equation first this one from equation three so we have a plus c yeah we have a plus c 
a plus c minus a plus b. So equation three, we're gonna subtract, uh, we're gonna subtract equation first from equation three. So a plus c minus a plus b, a plus b, and equal to, of course, three minus three minus one. Okay, really great. Right now, let's simplify this real quick. So as a result, we have a plus c minus a minus b is equal to is equal to two. From here, we can easily cancel our we can easily cancel our a. Yeah. So as a result, we have that our c minus b. Yeah, we have c minus b is equal to c minus b is equal to two. And let's call these equations. For example, this is our first equation as in the previous step yeah, we had it so this is a second third and this one is called a, a, a the fourth fourth equation and right now let's add equation four and two this is our second equation this is our fourth equation let's see what will happen so fourth equation c minus b yeah so we have c minus b let's add to this equation let's add b plus c yeah so plus plus b plus c plus b and plus c Okay, equal to, equal to, we have 2 plus 2, 2 plus, 2 plus 2, because second equation 2, and right here we have, we have 2 as well, so we add a second and we add fourth. Right now let's simplify this real quick, so we have c minus b plus b plus c equal to, equal to 4, yeah, and from here we can easily cancel our b, so from here we can find our c, so we have 2c equal to 4, and from here our c is equal to 2. Okay, so according to a second method, we can easily um, solve this equation uh, real quick for, um, for c. So we have c is equal to 2, and right now we can easily uh, substitute c equal to 2 into, for example, let's go with the, with the second equation. Yeah, we have b plus c, b plus c equal to 2, so we can easily find our, our b, because b, b equal to, uh, b equal to 2 minus 2 minus uh, c, yeah? 2 minus c, and from here we have 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So b is equal to uh, 0, yeah? And our last, uh, last step, let's substitute b equal to 0 into, into the first equation. So we have a equal to a plus 0 equal to 1. And of course, from here, our a is equal to 1. Let's do this. So we have a plus b from the first equation, a plus b equal to 1. So from here we have that our a is equal to 1 minus b. 1 minus b, which is equal to, yeah, we have right here, we can we can plug in b equal to 0, and we have that our a is equal to equal to 1. So a is equal to 1, and b is equal to equal to 0. So let's write our pairs. We have absolutely the same, and the same solution. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to is equal to two. So we have three, we have three three roots, and everything is is great. We have the third method because a lot of students may be asking how can we solve this question in a in a different way? How can we solve this question with the third method? So here our our third method. Uh, this method uh, we can easily use as a sum of variables. So how can we solve this question according to a sum of variables? So here is our question from the beginning. Let's add everything. So add, let's add all equations. So as a result, we have a plus b from the first equation plus b plus c plus b plus c plus a plus c plus a plus c and equal to 1 plus 2 and plus 3. Yeah, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Right now, let's simplify it. We have 2a plus 2b and plus 2c. So we have 2a plus 2b and plus 2c equal to equal to 6. And from here, our thumb, a plus b plus c, so a plus b plus c is equal to, is equal to 3. What are we going to do next? Let's subtract first equation from this one. Okay, we have first equation a plus b equal to 1. Let's subtract this first equation from, from this expression. Let's do this. So we have a plus b plus c and minus a plus b minus a plus b. Yeah? Mm, minus a plus b. Minus a plus b right here. And equal to, equal to, what do we have? 3 minus 3 minus 1. Yeah, 3 minus 1. Minus one, and of course, from here we can easily cancel everything because a plus b, we're gonna subtract this a plus b, so we can easily cancel this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we have only our c, which is equal to which is equal to two. Okay, so from here our c is equal to is equal to two, and everything is uh, great after this because we can we can plug in this c in each of this equation, and we have our our answer. So this is our first method right here, b equal to 0, uh, a equal to 1, c equal to 2. This is our second method. This is our method, method of substitution, maybe the most popular one, the easiest one. This one is also really great, but with, with a few manipulations. And 
I like this one. This method is real quick and you can easily solve this question without any problems. But the fourth method, this is my additional method, how can we solve this uh, system of equation? This is like a matrix method, okay? This one maybe people use in, in, in high school, this, this great method, uh, maybe a little bit complicated, but I really enjoy this method. So first of all, let's write our equation. So a plus b, a plus b equal to 1, b plus c equal to 2 and a plus c is equal to 3. Okay, this is our equation from, from uh, the beginning. Right now we can easily express in a different way because as you know, if you're talking about matrix, if you're talking about like uh, this equation with the three variables. So our matrix like should have like three three lines right here at this place and three like three rows and three lines uh, from here and th three lines from here. So three by three. Yeah? But how can we express this equation? Because we need to have like three by three, our matrix three by three. Right here we don't have C, so we can write it as a plus b plus zero c equal to equal to one yeah right here we don't have a so zero times a zero times a plus b plus c equal to two yeah what do you know what i mean i just want to create a matrix three by three yeah and right here what do we have we don't have b so we can write it as um, a plus zero b and plus plus c plus c equal to equal to three. So this are um, these are equations, but we, we can easily write it in terms of like a, our matrix. Yeah, we can easily do this. So first of all, we have right here what coefficients? We have one, one, zero. So one, one, zero, one, one, zero. In the second one, we have zero, one, one, zero, one, one. And in the third one, we have uh, one, zero, one. So we have one, zero, one. And of course, our, mm, our uh, answers, one, two, and three. So we have one, Two and three. How can you solve this matrix? This is up to you. I just want to show you a few hints, few tricks. How can you solve this question? First of all, let's subtract row first. This is our first row from the third one. Okay, when we subtract it, okay, row first from the row, uh, from the row third. What do we have? We have the first one, 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 zero, and we have one right here. We have the second one absolutely the same, 0, 1, 1, and 2. And as I said before, we're gonna, mm, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna subtract this first row from the third one, and when we, when we subtract this one, so we have one minus one, we have zero. Zero minus one, we have minus one, and the third one, so we have one minus zero equal to one. Three minus one equal to equal to two. Yeah. So right here we have at this place we have um, a great situation with these coefficients, with these coefficients. And with these coefficients, our last step is to remove this minus one. So how can we do this? We need to add this uh, row second, this row, to the third one, and then we have the zero at this at this place. So let's do this right now. So the first line absolutely the same. So we have one one zero. The third, the second one absolutely the same, zero one one. And the third one, when we add it, we have zero, zero, and zero zero and two and of course right here the same thing we have one we have one two and two plus two equal to equal to four and right now at this place we we know everything because we have zero we have zeros on the on the bottom of this line so we have one one and two and from here we have uh, this two uh, it implies that this uh, two is related to uh, to c so we have two c is equal to four from here yeah so we have two c is equal to 4c equal to 2 and from here we have what do we have from from this line so we have b plus c equal to 2 from the second line so we have b plus c is equal to 2 from the from the second line but c equal to uh, but c equal to 2 so from here b is equal to is equal to 0 and we have a plus b equal to 1 b equal to 0 so a is equal to is equal to 1 okay a is equal to 1 and let's write away. of course this is our answer we can underline this uh, as our answer because uh, in every moment in every method we have absolutely absolutely the same answer let's do this so we have our answer to this question. This is our answer, of course, this one. I just want to, uh, and a lot of students might be asking why mm, why I solve this question, why I record this video, because uh, I want to show you a few methods, how can you solve this question, because maybe a lot of students might be thinking that, okay, how can you solve this question? This first method, method of substitution, the basic one, we express A, plug it into the second one, add something, subtract something, and of course, the second method is absolutely the same as the first one, but with a different approach, we subtract equation, this is method of substitution, this is 
a method of like a subtraction. This is like a method which is called like the thumb of um, uh, the, when we add all equations and when we when we try to find out how can we find something so all different method and additional method this method of like this matrix method I really enjoy it and I just want to show you this method as well with with the matrix maybe you're studying in high school it's it's also really great and uh, I'm gonna underline it because uh, this question is not hard this question is like few second question and of course if you have maybe a faster method you can write your your note or your thought in the comments below it will be it will be really interesting interesting to see your method and it's not about like a solution to the system of equation this video is about a uh, method how can you solve this question like add something subtract something method of substitution a uh, method which is called like the sum of, um, of of all equations so we can see this from the different angle and then matrix method you know this this video is about a different method how can you solve this uh, system of equation so i really hope you understand it i really hope you you enjoy it and understand my my solution to this method yeah so thank you for your time take care of yourself also don't forget to write your response to see maybe you have your your faster method maybe the fifth one it's really interesting what do you think about it how can we solve this question maybe you have a faster method it's also really uh, really great my methods you you you, is, you can easily see it so it's four methods four basic methods not a hard method so i really hope you you understand it so let's write for example on the right side a quick answer so a is equal to one b is equal to zero and c is equal to two so you can easily you can easily check it but everything is great because each of these methods give us this uh, this answer so our answer is absolutely the same in this in the four four methods so thank you for your time take care of yourself have a great day don't forget to to write your response to write your method how do you think we can solve this question and see you in the next videos have a great day and take care of yourself